How to add PayPal payments to Shopify store Hi guys, in today's video, I will be showing you how to add PayPal payments in your Shopify store and like good to know informations about it. So let's get started. So as you can see, I have signed into my Shopify admin store right here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the lower left hand side and click on settings. So in our settings, what we can do is we're going to go to our payment section. So click on payments. And basically, I have um, our people added right here already. So what I need to do is just to simply activate my PayPal. So I actually use PayPal as a payment method when I started setting up my um, Shopify store since we need to have at least one payment method available in our Shopify store. Now, in order for you to set up your PayPal on your Shopify store, what you need to do is... You need to create a PayPal Express checkout account using the email address you used to sign into your store. If you already have a PayPal account with that email address, then you receive payments from orders made with PayPal right away. If you want to issue refunds or manually capture payments, then you need to finish setting up your PayPal account. And to use PayPal on your store, one thing that you need to know is you need to upgrade it to a business account. So most functions and tools provided by PayPal for business owners are only available when using a business account. Alright, so you just need to click on the link, sign up for a new PayPal business account if you don't have a business account yet. Alright. So here are the steps in how you can set up your PayPal account. So here, on your desktop, from your Shopify admin, go to settings and then go to payments like what we did a while ago in the additional payment method section find paypal and click on manage so basically i have already uh, my paypal added as you can see and what i need to do is to simply activate it only uh, my paypal account is also for business so i don't need to create a new business account basically now deactivate your um, paypal and then just simply follow the process so here in add payment methods you just need to look for paypal but as you can see i cannot see it anymore since um i have already added it onto my payment methods all right even here in your search by provider it still doesn't show up let's try it out just for you to see We can click on activate PayPal right here. So to activate your PayPal, uh, as you can see, account is not yet connected. The transaction fees for PayPal is 2% and the status is inactive. So about PayPal uh, Express Checkout, you just need to click on activate PayPal Express Checkout right there. Now it will ask you to sign up on your PayPal account. So basically for this one, um, this is for people who do not have a business account yet. Basically, you need to follow the process right here. But since I do have a business account, I will basically just simply log into my account and then sign into it. Okay, and then hit on login afterwards. Okay, once you've logged in, you can actually see that you are already being routed to this section, which you are asked to agree and connect your PayPal to your Shopify. And let's go back to our Shopify. So you have an account and you've successfully integrated your PayPal with Shopify, basically. Okay, let's see in our payment section whether or not it has been activated already. So there from inactive, you can see our status is already active. And there. So if you do have any concerns, you can click on get support from PayPal right here. And let's mo learn more about the PayPal Express checkout here on Shopify. Just to give you an overview and idea on what you can use and what you can get the disadvantages and advantages of this um, specific payment method so i'm going to go to the 
most important parts first. So there. So PayPal allows payment through credit cards, bank accounts, buy your credit, um, and you can use this to actually pay for your Shopify bill. That's a good thing about um, Express Checkout. So depending on your store's location, you might be able to pay use PayPal to pay for your Shopify bills, and you just need to click on the billing FAQs in your um, Help Shopify. There. So here uh, let me show you as well what are the supported paypal providers so here uh, you can have paypal express paypal playflow pro and the venmo so those are paypal's global availability availability in shopify so shopify strongly suggests using paypal express instead of paypal standard because paypal standard is deprecated and support for it will be removed from shopify eventually and this is also more reliable because it doesn't have any ipns as well so here you could also have automatic automated order cancellations basically if um your customer has ordered and they canceled it there will be an automatic refund even if you don't sign in to your um, paypal account there and then the one click checkout button so paypal express adds a one click che uh, checkout button for your customers so that they can easily pay through their paypal okay Another one is the PayPal seller protection. So what's good about this um, specific checkout method is that if your customers use PayPal as a payment method, then you might be eligible for PayPal seller protection. So we have three um, types of seller protection ratings. That's the eligible, partially eligible, and ineligible. Okay. So this actually... Um, for eligible, the order is protected by PayPal seller protection for unauthorized payments and items that are not received. For partially eligible, the order is protected by seller protection for item not received. And for ineligible, the order is not protected by seller protection, basically. Okay, so PayPal seller's protection is not managed by Shopify. If you're having issues with your PayPal transaction, then you need to contact PayPal and not Shop Shopify for it. Okay, so here just a quick run through for the eligibility criteria of the um, seller's protection. So for the um, basic requirements, you just need to have the item must be a physical good that can be shipped. So take note, it should be physical. And the item must be shipped to the same address that appears on the transaction order and pages under the shipping address as well. And then you must be you must respond to PayPal's request for documentation or other information promptly, and your store must be based in the United States as well. So one quick note, these criteria are specific to the United States. So you can check on your location's PayPal user agreement for eligibility criteria outside the United States. Here are some additional requirements for items that are not received. So the payment must be rated as eligible or partially, partially eligible on the transaction page for chargebacks. And you must provide a proof of delivery for that as well. All right. So items not covered by PayPal seller protections is that um, there are like a list of items and transactions that aren't covered by seller's protection. You just need to check it out on your PayPal user page. And basically, that's how to add the payment uh, PayPal payment method on your Shopify and good, some good to know information about uh, why it's actually good to have your PayPal Express checkout being added onto your Shopify store. That's about it for today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching and hope you find this tutorial helpful.